Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL 23. Here today on the channel, we have episode 6 of my Collingwood management career mode. Here today, we have the AFL Grand Final, and I'm going to reveal who it's against. It's going to be against the Melbourne Football Club. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video like and subscribe if you're new. Melbourne finished in fourth, a team we've smashed a lot this season, but uh, anyone can win a Grand Final, of course. We managed to beat them in the first round of finals, and then we faced Port Adelaide, who we lost to twice this season, um, who would have been a harder opposition. But here we go. Melbourne in the grand final. Ben Brown, I think, has scored like 16 goals on us this season. So it's going to be a good one. At least we're not facing Sydney. <laughs> That's a reference to the Richmond and Brisbane save where I faced them twice. But we've won the minor premiership on percentage, nearly losing it to Brisbane. And it's been a super ultra competitive career series. We've lost heaps of games and we've also narrowly uh, won on a small couple small margins. But here we go, Collingwood v Melbourne. Massive final here. And there it is. The AFL Premiership Cup. Who will be the 2023 winners? Grundy facing his former side. Our front line has been amazing. Our midfield has been stacked. Our defense has let us down quite a bit. <laughs> but here we go. Melbourne v Collingwood. Let's get stuck into this match. Now, I'm going to be playing on full match highlights for this one. Because it's the grand final after all. And Mitchell gives it to Ginevan, and he starts off the scoring. Unbelievable scenes here. Straight through the sticks. Bang. Ginevan, probably an unlikely first goal scorer. But some people got their bets paid out, I suppose. Grundy wins the ruck contest. Our forwards have had a lot of injuries this season, but... Our midfield is probably as good as theirs. Is that Oliver chopping someone down? Ball up in the end. Cameron wins it over Grundy to Crisp. Keeps on going. Oh, to Majacek. Doesn't have a man. Oh, can't wind up as well. Colling with, with confidence going forward. Clayton Oliver. Drills it. Dacos back with the flight. Gets the grab. Gets chopped down though. Thought he had more space. Quainor with the magnificent interception there. But it's still only a one goal game. We lose it to Grundy. Who handballs it back. Collingwood. Expending a lot of energy here. Degoe chasing. They get it in, and they get the mark. Melbourne, weirdly, handball it and play it back. What are you doing that for? Degoe wants to give it and go. To Hoskin Elliott. Oh, can't get the grab. It's a three-on-one here on the wing. We've overloaded them. Still going forward. Somehow got it out. Mitchell. Finds Cox. And goes back and hits it. Melbourne have just been a little bit sloppy. And we've taken our chance as well. Mason Cox. Collingwood's top goal scorer. And I believe our Col the Coleman as well. I have to check that stat actually. I haven't looked at it. Oh, okay. All right, we've gifted a Melbourne Melbourne a goal here late. Will they nail it? Oh, it looks good off the boot. That's a textbook finish by the D's, and they bring it back within a goal. Um, I feel like with the way we're playing, we should have been a little bit further in front. It feels weird calling it a one-goal game, but it is. Grundy, Cameron in the ruck. Clayton Oliver wins it. Good little handball. Grundy with a big handball there to Petrarca. Who gets it over Howe. 
Ah, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy, what are you doing? Oh no, the D's gonna play quickly here. <gasps> They've gotten over to. Oh, they played on! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Why'd they do that for? Oh no! <laughs> played on the siren. He mustn't have known. Oh, the D's had a guaranteed goal there. If this game is decided by a goal, <laughs> I'd be spewing. That's what happens sometimes. It happened to Cumberland for the Tigers, didn't he? He played on. He just like you just don't know um, on the ground. Like, you're not looking at the board constantly. Sometimes like, you hear AFL players, they don't even know, like... They roughly know if it's about two, three minutes, but when it comes down to the, the, the last minute, you just don't know. All right, the Ds, though, come out from quarter time. It's going to be a shank just to the right. Oh, no, have the Ds bottled it. They've sort of fallen off a bit. Still super tight, this match, though. Spilling. We haven't really hit our... Free flowing football. Cox with the grab. Oh no, he dropped it. Oh no. Pendles. Can't win it. Yeah, we just haven't looked incisive going into our forward 50. We're expending a lot of energy, but we're not really getting much. I don't know why they go back on the wing like that, but I guess it might work if they get a goal. Ultimately, no. Quainor has been incredible in that halfback role. He's been. So physical, so aggressive. He's also got all the physical attributes, but he's also supremely intelligent as well. Cox, come on, get it out. No, he got dropped there. Holding the ball. Yeah. Also, guys, let me know in the comments. If you've watched this series in the Richmond one, what do you guys prefer? Long form episodes like this where we you see the entire context of the game? Or do you prefer edited stuff? I think playing a lot of the matches early on, getting the feel of the team in the first fair few rounds. Um, but as you sort of get to the last couple when you've made the top eight and it doesn't really overly matter, maybe change things up. I, I think like we did edited episodes in the prelim in the first round, but I feel like the grand final, you need to show all of it um, to give context because this is still a super close match here. But yeah, I'm still undecided. And what I mean, like, should we do edited goals so it's a lot quicker, or should you do long four matches? Yeah, edited games or long four games? Let me know in the comments. I like to just do a combination of both. I think that's best. Oh, go on. It does require me to do a lot more editing and stuff because he pick it here. Oh, sneaks it through. It's a long goal game. But um, I think it's like 20 minutes a game usually. It's pretty long, so to edit it down, um, it is quite a bit of time, but I don't mind. It's all about sort of keeping you guys engaged as well. But I can talk and ramble for, for hours. <laughs> all right. Oh, wow, they're going to get a mark here. They do, but it's not going to be paid again. I don't know what's going on. I feel like Melbourne's been a little bit unfair here. Um, the umpire's been a little bit unfair on Melbourne. We're going to go into half time. Oh, wow. So it's still a goal game, and they probably could have had a shot there. And they probably deserve a goal. Jeez. I kind of want to go out and smack them so we get this win well deserved if we do it. We're still leading, but we're just running into silly decisions here. Still plenty of football to win. That's a good mark from Quaynor. Right, I need to switch on here. This is the AFL Grand Final. We don't want any faffing about. All right, Mitchell wins it on the 50. He's going to hit it quick and hard. Trying to find Hoskin Elliott. Oh, Cox. I found Cox. Man, Mason. This guy has been a revelation. There's a reason why we lost the first two games. And now we bring him in. And he's been magnificent. Chucking him at full forward is ridiculous. <laughs> you don't really have your traditional massive forward these days in the AFL. Because you have so many... Like, in the sense, like, there's no, like, Matthew Richardson still, like, leading from the front door. Or, um... Dunstall, yeah, you know what I mean? There's, like, a wide variety of forwards that can score. And even a couple from midfield as well. 
Oh, oh. They've rushed it there. They probably Oh, he's hit the post. <laughs> Melbourne have been unlucky in this one. Oh, we just ran into Cozy Pickett there. McStay can't win it. Oh, come on. Melbourne, a couple of good handballs. Grundy finds... Wait, it went over Dacos. Oh, the D's get another one back here. It's a four-point game. Bailey, Fritch hits it well. Oh, what a goal. This is going to be super, super tight. This is the closest grand final. Especially on the hardest difficulty on these new patches. I've gotten used to it now. Just had to adjust my gameplay. Mostly timing my tackles and, and how I lead as a player. Lead my players and like positioning them. I can. I still don't... I still can't work out the defense though. That's going to be on the... Why is there no one there? Oh, I should have played on. Okay. Uh, Cozzy Pickett from the pocket here can take the lead for the Ds if he hits it. Oh, and he has. No, he hasn't. It's hit the post again. Oh, no. The Ds have three behinds. That's just unlucky. Three-point game here. Side bottom. The Pies want to get back in front. Cox is doing... I don't know what he's doing. But McStay hits it. Is he going to hit the post? No. Goes for a behind. Both sides absolutely zapped in this. But Collingwood still maintain the lead. Just the way the footy's flowing, I would say probably the D's look better. From this position, who do you think's going to win? Quainor, come on. Get it out. Oh, holding the ball. Will they get one back here? Ten seconds remaining. Petrarca drills it to Spargo. He plays on. He gets it out, though, to pick it. Please go back and have a shot and not play on. Oh, I was going to say, Cozzy Pickett to take the lead. At three-quarter time. To send the Ds in front for the first time in this match. And he does. It's a two-point game here. Oh, no. It's going to come to the final quarter to decide this match. Will I lose my first grand final with the Magpies? Or can we come back? Come on, guys. Switch on. Let's go. Side bottom. Wins it. No, the D's look good. It's a great interception by Quaynor. And he's bombed it to Cox. No Collingwood player can get it. The D's recycle the footy well. Get it to Grundy. He gets tackled and played on. Oliver, Petrarca. Mitchell with the interception. The former Hawk tries to get it out. Grundy, Dacos, they go to the wing for safety. The D's bomb it in. How? <gasps> Wins it. Denying. The D's a shot. He finds Elliot, who's floated into the midfield. It's a favourable bounce to Majacek, who finds Jack Ginnivan <laughs> in the pocket. Needs to kick this one. He's been so good this season. Jack Ginnivan takes the lead. Oh, my. It's a one-goal game. Jack Ginnivan has been amazing in this career series. I probably wouldn't have wanted anyone else to grab it, apart from... Maybe Hoskin Elliott. Jack Ginnivan. Can he win a grand final with the Pies? The D's looking good, though. Crisp wins it. It's still a one-goal game. Grundy gets it back. Oh, the D's go forward again. Dacos wins it. Oh, I've got to make a decision here. I think I'm just going to go... I was actually trying to go down the, the wing there. Down the line a bit more. It worked out. Crisp hits it to Jack Ginnivan. Oh, he doesn't get it. Side bottom. Charges forward. Big tackle. The D's get it out though. To Grundy who turns. It's under a minute. The D's have got to hit the scoreboard. Crisp goes back. Handballs it to Oliver, who chips it. <gasps> Only as far as Quaynor. He plays on. Goes down the corridor to Majacek, who drops it. The D's get it back. They need to hit someone. They've got 30 seconds. <gasps> How? 
now with the spoil. Oh, my defense. No, play, no. Get it out. Side bottom. No. 26 seconds. A ball up in the forward 50. With a narrow lead. Get it out. Oh, no. Dacos. 17 seconds. Side bottom. Just get it into the forward line. Get it. Go. Go. No. That's a bad handball. Get it. Go. 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 <gasps> We've outnumbered him. Crisp. Trying to find someone. Finds. No. We couldn't find anyone. But they're going to run out of time. Oh, my. It's Collingwood by four points. And if that, go if that goal got allowed, we'd probably lose. That is the tightest grand final I have played in this game. And arguably... The D's probably should have won at times. But ultimately, Collingwood are going to get the win. Clayton Oliver pulling his hair out. I wouldn't be surprised if a um, Melbourne player wins the Norm Smith, to be honest. Look how close that match was. Oh, man. Thank God they uh, fixed their difficulty. That was such a, a close match. And Cozzy Pickett is going to win it. After losing the grand final. He was good. I don't know if he was that good. But Darcy Moore's up there. And Collingwood are going to ultimately lift the 2023 AFL Toyota Grand Final. And the boys are up there by a kick. Let's take some screenshots. There we go. The Collingwood Football Club win the grand final. How close. How nail-biting has this series been? It's been so, so much more competitive compared to the Richmond and Brisbane save. We arguably probably didn't deserve to do the double there. <laughs> like, we only won by percentage against Brisbane. They should have won the league, and we only just get over the line. Like, look how close that is. It's insane. But anyway, unfortunately, on that note, it is time to end... The Collingwood career series for season one here. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see season two. Should we try and create a dynasty for Collingwood? But um, I do keep all of my career saved, so there's always an option to go back to it. Should we move on to a new team? Or, I don't know, let me know in the comments. I would be open to maybe playing as, I don't know, maybe we should play as an interstate team. Um, maybe playing as free or West Coast, Port Adelaide or Adelaide. Um, I still, I, I do want to play everyone at least once, but, uh, there's still a lot of this AFL season to go and of course, plenty of teams to play as, and we've still got a potential new team we could do, um, or we could do season two of the Brisbane or Tigers or even Collingwood career series. Now, let me know in the comments, or maybe I should put it to a vote. I, I haven't decided. Or maybe we should play as a New South Wales team. Maybe we should play as the Giants or the Swans. I haven't decided just yet. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for some form of content coming out tomorrow. Don't know what exactly what they'll be, but stay tuned for daily AFL 23 career mode. Of course, I'm still eagerly waiting to do pro league uh, content as well. At the time of recording, that's still not out. So I do want to do some of that. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more AFL 23 content on the channel. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you enjoyed that nail-biting match. I certainly did. But make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.